Number one, who told you guys that the product has to be very expensive before it is effective? Like, who told you that? Hey y'all, it's your girl Esther, and today I'm back with another video for you all. I'm here to let you on some skincare secret that probably I've not really seen or heard anyone talking about, but you know, that's why you have me. So this is really, really going to be very interesting. This is something that I find that most people can really relate to. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, my name is Esther, and I make videos related to skincare. So if that is what you're really interested in, this is the right channel for you to subscribe to. And without wasting much time, let's get started. The first point that I really want to tackle and I believe that most people can relate to this is that mindset that if it is not expensive, it is not effective. I mean, who lied to you or who gave you that mindset? Who told you that a product has to be very expensive before it is effective? But don't get me wrong, that products are really expensive and they are effective, but that whole mindset that it has to be very expensive before it is effective. I'm here to let you all know that is a lie. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't just see take this from me don't be deceived there are products that are affordable and they are still effective so that mindset of i have to spend thousands of naira i have to spend thousands of dollars before a product can work for me that is just wrong in as much as there are products that are really expensive and they are also um effective there are also products that are expensive and they are a waste of money because if you have that mindset this is the right place for you to just drop it like that is here most of why this product are really expensive could be the brand i mean take for instance you might just want to buy a normal t-shirt like normal polo and take for instance you, you want to get it from gucci definitely you know the price is really going to be expensive than getting like a normal t-shirt from any store i mean the same thing goes with skincare i mean if the brand is well known for instance we have set up field therapy definitely the price is going to shoot up another reason why it could be really expensive could be the popularity that that product has gotten i mean for instance when snail mission was ruining i mean if you could check the price you could see how really pricey it was i mean you could just wake up one morning and then a particular product is trending and you know everybody are trying to buy that product everybody are trying to you know have it or give review concerning that product i mean this is just like a simple marketing skill definitely when there's an increase in demand definitely there will be increase in production and there's every chance that that particular product is going to be expensive that the price is going to increase i mean it's just like simple marketing because that's like every dream of you know every manufacturer to you know make a profit so then once a particular product has gotten the popularity that it needs people are going to buy and the more demands that come in the more there's more production and definitely the price is going to shoot up so it doesn't really mean that it's it is you know it's very expensive and then it's not going to work for me at the same time too it could be very expensive but it will not still be effective let's just be honest there's some product that you find people like ah, i spent so much money and it's not even working for me let's just be honest you and i know that there's a particular product that we've used and it's very affordable and it gives us so much it, it gives us what we were expecting and let's be honest i mean you've said ah, ah, this product is not really getting the hype that it means i mean how can a product be this affordable and it is you know giving so much value one day when that product gets the popularity that it deserves trust me even you when you go back to go and buy that product it does increase and you'll be surprised once upon a time this product were affordable too maybe no one knew about them and one day you know it became popular and now it's very expensive so the same thing goes with affordable product like that whole mindset that ah it has to be very expensive you know when you see a food food that maybe showing one five or two five but like ah, what's the you know what's the chance that it's going to you know give me what i'm looking for like ah nah it's too cheap maybe it's not give me as long as it matches your skin tone as long as it matches your skin type i see no reason why if you try it but 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 wait don't get me wrong they are still affordable products that are still very much waste of money and they are also expensive products that are very much waste of money but i'm just here to just let you know that whole mindset of it really has to be expensive before it is effective is just wrong another truth about skincare is honestly drink water like you can never substitute water to expensive product or affordable product or hydrating product drink water these are like the primary thing that our skin needs this skincare product is just more like the secondary factors or the secondary things that our skin needs because whatever that is happening inside our system tends to reflect or show outside so imagine if you're dehydrated definitely your skin is going to be dry or your skin is going to feel dehydrated and you think the best idea is to go and buy um hydrating products they are going to work but 
to be honest probably not for long and even if they work they won't really give you 100 percent what you were expecting i don't ever think you can substitute water to skincare product like water and fruit and my being mindful of the things you just are like the primary factors or the primary things that our skin we need most of people will not tell you they'll just like oh you have this can buy this can buy that because as long as inside is okay definitely it's going to reflect outside so at the same time that's why it's when someone's eating good food drinking a lot of water and you know being mindful of things you ingest you find that ah tomorrow that just isn't only for skin or only this and your skin is glowing and you too will be surprised let's be honest it's not about buying all the necessary routine that you need but don't get me wrong this thing to help but you have to understand that these are just the second things that the skin need drink water most of the time you drink is it eight, lit eight liters of water i'm not really too sure and um, the number but let's be honest if you're not testing i mean it's really really difficult to force yourself to drink water which is why for myself most time i like to you know try to eat a lot of food i like to go for food that has at least high amount of water in them like oranges like pineapple seriously i really really love fruit most time people will always can tell you ah i can't eat granola when i eat granola you know i tend to have acne just honestly be mindful of things you eat if there's something that you have to give up because you find that it's maybe reacting or giving you allergies to your skin please stop but today your skin is dehydrated and you barely drink water and the next thing you're going to go and buy 5,000, 10,000 products for you to work on your skin it's going to work but it's definitely it's not going to do so much job and even if it does it's probably won't even last for long first time the ingredients or the content you find your skincare product are gotten from food so please consume or eat a lot of food and be mindful of the things that you ingest another skincare secret that i haven't really seen or heard anyone talking about is really how addictive skincare is i mean skincare is really really addictive it's like drugs like the moment you start and the moment you start seeing changes there's this urge to continue skincare is really really addictive it is really really like this most time when i'm even bored i just scroll through skincare products even if i know at that point i can't afford it but i don't know but i find it really really therapeutic just the same way some people will find spraying through clothes or shoes you know you find it really relaxing or therapeutic i really want to believe that i'm not the only person that you know that is experiencing this or that is going through this but let me know in the comment box what you think everyone loves it when you're seeing good changes in you you also want to try to maintain it or you also try to work harder to even get a better result so that's the same thing with skincare and probably no one will tell that we even use my last car so won't buy skincare for the words the struggle is really real and i think i would like to talk about is if you're starting start with affordable product don't go and start with an expensive product because the moment you start with an expensive product and it works for you just know you've signed yourself for like forever deal because you're going to be ah you spend so much money and imagine if the first time you have the money to buy that product and the second time you don't have i mean you're really going to be confused because at that point you want to um try to substitute an apple that is still effective like that but you're also scared you start panicking basically you really can start panicking because i mean it's really really hard when you want something that really works for you and you now want you, and you now want to switch to something that you're not even sure is going to work for you i mean it's really really real so please 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 there's not so much to talk about this thing but start with affordable product then maybe eventually you can try but as long as you have the money but if you're just starting please start with affordable product don't go for something very expensive have something that if you should finish that you can afford the next one when this one gets finished so just have that in mind another skincare secret if you are new to this um vitamin c serum retinol it is really really advisable that you start with a very low concentration i mean you've never used them before and you know most time this um content of these um, ingredients can be a bit harsh and you've never used it before and you're going to kind of start with the one that has a very high concentration i mean that could be really too high for your skin to you know to accept for the fact that it has never received something like this before so if you are new to all these things it's really advisable that you start with something with a concentration that is very low and then eventually you can build your way to a higher one but please start with something start with a very low concentration eventually you can build yourself to a higher concentration guy okay, another secret about skincare is prayers like you know as much as you might probably not really like how this sound but 
honestly pray because there was one particular time i was having you know like scratches and i don't know but something very uncomfortable on my face anytime i try to touch my face it feels really raw i tried everything that i knew i changed my case like almost every time it was still that way i was really really confused and my last option honestly with prayer should not really be the last option but that time the only option that i was left with was i just prayed then after praying i was scrolling through youtube i don't know whether it was youtube short or youtube like normal video but i came across vaseline video and trust me i was never really a fan of vaseline because right from childhood i really hated vaseline because it was just very very thick and it was just something like i just found it very hard to to rub on my skin on my body like trust me i never really like vaseline and the this video i saw about vaseline making it face to be smooth and everything i'm like okay you know i'm just going to try it. i funny thing i never had vaseline so it's just like my dad was eating vaseline so this was this death of vaseline i'm like okay let me just try that honestly i was surprised i mean look at i tried everything to get rid of that roughness on my skin it did not work but trust me it was vaseline that worked i mean something that's not even up to a thousand naira i'm just trying to say sometimes your problem could never be buying expensive product your problem could either even be your problem could even be just to drink water and everything just going to be normal your problem could be just don't stress like seriously if you're going through anything let's be honest there's some people that you know they'll tell them try this try that and they've tried everything and it's still not working for you let's be honest that like, people like that honestly just pray to god tell god this is what you're going through and don't be surprised i mean your product could be your solution right? that could be something very 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 something that you don't even imagine yourself doing i mean it could even be something that you've ever spent two thousand naira pray i mean god is really really so mindful of us like you don't really have to wait until you need a car until you need a house before you can pray he's really he's very much interested even in the strand of our hair i mean my mom will tell you that like he's so mindful and so intentional about us so your skin definitely should not even be something that should bother you so whatever you're going through please pray and god is really going to help you so the last thing i would like to talk about is changing product versus not changing product i mean i don't know if people have this mindset if it is not changing then it is not effective or then it is not you know whatever reason but it is really wrong Wrong. there was this particular product that i tried and it was not even trendy honestly like i never saw it anywhere and truth be told i was scared i felt like ah what if something but now come and happen but you know as long as i usually before i get any product i like to go through the content to see what it has to see the instruction also before i have this confidence that yes i can purchase it so eventually i bought that product and trust me it was worth it i was like oh my goodness i really really love it and i was like imagine if i didn't buy it in the first place and it was really really nice honestly it was really really nice and when that one got finished i went back and i got another one and truth be told it's even recently that i've started you know i've been seeing it online people talk about it and i'm like oh my goodness so ah so now I'm, this is getting the hype that means and trust me that product was really really affordable and i'm i'm pretty sure when it really really gets hyped and when it really really gains popularity i feel like it's really going to increase but what i'm just trying to say is that mindset that it is not trending it is not effectivity to do wrong my love i've come to the end of this video i've spilled so many secrets here and i really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like to share to subscribe and also you know let me know your thoughts concerning this and let me also know if you're also going through any of this please be free to use this comment box below and don't forget to share this video to your friends your family and friends especially those that have that mindset that it really has to be expensive before it is effective and especially those that probably are on their way right now to go and buy something very expensive that their skin probably they will need right now so yes share it to them also let them know and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys